What's up, everybody? Goat Toaster 9, JJ Shankles here, back with another microphone review. There's so many different configurations for a microphone and how to attach it, how to use it, whether you go with a lav mic, an overhead boomed in arm mic, an on camera mounted mic, or if most of your filming you do on your smartphone, this last type of microphone is perfect for that. The Comica CVM VS08. This is a smartphone attachable microphone. It attaches directly in through your headphone jack and works as an external mic. Mounts right on there. It's gonna be with you every single time. Perfect for vlogging or traveling. Anytime you wanna be filming with your, anytime you wanna be filming with your camera but you want a little bit better of a microphone, this is a great addition. So let's get it open. First you open this. You got the microphone with the 3.5 millimeter jack on there, the smartphone clip, and a foam windscreen. Also in the box you'll find a large dead cat. So this is a large windscreen. It's great for it. This is great for any like extremely windy situations or any outdoor situations. The small foam version works more as a pop filter to take any like static off of your voice, just more mellows it out. The pops and the hisses that comes through your voice, it works well to do, deal with that, but it doesn't work very well against high winds. This on the other hand works great as this and more. It will muffle your voice slightly, but for the sake of it cutting out all wind nearly entirely, but it's amazing how much this can just cut wind to a zero. So if you're filming outside, travel vlogging, whatever you're doing that is around wind nearly at all, most mics will just start hissing. This will just cut it down to zero. It really is amazing. Always a great thing to have. When compared next to the CVM VM102, which is another one I reviewed, it looks almost identical. The only difference is, is the mounting jack directly here is attached to it. It's even got the same port on the back. So you may ask yourself, does this port work the same as this port does on this microphone? And the answer is no, this is a monitoring port. Since you're taking up the one port on your smartphone, this works as a headphone jack so you can still listen back through and listen to your phone. So let's get into it. This clip attaches right onto the back here. That's gonna hold it onto a smartphone. Since I use the Pixel 2 as my main smartphone and it does not have a headphone jack, I had to bust out the old Samsung Galaxy 6S Edge, which is quite an old phone nowadays, but luckily still has a headphone jack. So it just slots right in there and this clip sort of holds it on there so it won't rotate. It'll just slide on there. Gives you a little bit of stability so it's not gonna rotate side to side near as much as it would other ways. So this one, I wish it was on the top of this phone, but this is actually the bottom. So you can hold it out. You can vlog with it. If you're talking into it, you can, or this is where it's pointed away from you. Point it the other way. It's pointed at you, you're filming, you're recording. Let me turn it on and get some audio. All right, so now we should be recording. See if you can see this. We're recording here. And this is a test. Test of the... This is the this is the test of the Comica CVM VS08. So it's all up close. Um, we're going to try a couple different situations of this recording. Um, yeah. So I think it works really well as a microphone like this. You could also just use it since it's recording, you use it just as a handheld mic while you're getting your video on something else. This can be your close up, sort of a handheld microphone using your phone as that. It'll just store it and then you export it later, and get it on your main thing. So you could use this as an interview mic as you're holding it, passing it back and forth between people as they're talking into it, since it is sort of cardioid, but it's a wide cardioid. It's just sort of directed towards me so it would kind of isolate other noises. But I think the proof is all in just how it sounds. So we're outside testing this one out. So we're outside testing this out. This one is filmed on a smartphone. So this is without any filter over it. I have the foam one in my hand. So it's a little windy. There's an AC unit. Cars are driving by. I'm gonna pop this wind filter on. Just the standard black foam one. To show how much that's changed. I wanna move around a little bit. Hopefully that's not too jerky some quick movements to get wind rushing past it, showing how much it does better than no filter at blocking out the wind and that hiss you get from regular wind sounds, but it's not as good. 
I'm gonna pop this big, the big furry dead cat on there. And that one should almost immediately cut out almost all of the sound. Yeah, it's a little hard to, I'm not used to using a phone to do this on. So the windscreen's on there, so it should deaden most of the ambient noise in the area, but you should still hear a voice fairly clearly coming through the microphone. So, I uh, hope this isn't too terrible quality. Here we go, back to you, Indoor JJ. So now that you've heard the audio test, I think microphone choices all come down to the user of what you like and what you, your voice sounds like, what you want your voice, your output video to eventually look like. Um, and there's a lot of different things you could be recording, whether it's a voice sitting here, whether it's a vlog, a travel vlog, and what situation you need it in. It's a lot more versatile than a lot of other mics. This boom mic setup, I can't, I can barely take it across the other side of my apartment. It'll be such a hassle. This thing is so lightweight and small. Carry this in your pocket, pop it out, your phone out, attach it, and you're ready to film with much better audio than you're gonna get off your normal smartphone's internal microphone. It's so small, it's just not gonna pick up the depth, the range that this is gonna be able to pick up. But what did you think about the audio quality? Let me know in the comments down below what you thought, how you think it stacks up against the other ones. I think cost is also a pretty big factor of this one. So there's also that to include. I included Amazon links down below to all of the microphones I used in comparison today. And while you're down there, like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, it really helps the channel grow and keep sticking around for more of my reviews and tips and tutorials coming up later. Thank you guys. Hope you had a great day. Go Toaster out.